Oh my gosh. How bad is it? What happened? Are, are you staying with her? Okay, yeah, I can probably be there this weekend. Um, just let mom know that if she wakes up before I get there that I'm gonna be there really soon. Um, you're staying there, right? Okay, great, I'll bring flowers. Okay, oh no, it's a Saturday. I never work Saturdays. <laughs> I know, my boss is a total dick. <laughs> Hold on a second. <clears throat> Funny, Jenny, I don't remember hiring you to talk to your boyfriend all day. It's my brother. You rednecks make me sick. I'm on my 15 minute break. Oh, you're on your 15 minute break? I'm pretty sure that time has passed, Jenny. You've been on this call for 23 minutes. Oh, 24. Listen, Jenny gets off at 5 p.m. After that, you guys can have all the phone sex you want. What? Get back to work. Andale! Jenny, you're better than that. Am I going crazy? Going or being driven by that asshole? Hey, language. Fuck you, you prude. <gasps> yep, I'm definitely going crazy. Jenny, no, you need to kill your boss. What? You can't kill him. Yeah, I can't kill him. Jenny is not a murderer. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Wait, you're not actually considering this, are you? You could shoot him, or choke him in that douchey truck. Okay, that's enough. She is not in the flipping mafia. Actually, I am part Italian, and I might have some- Shut up, Jenny! Jenny. Yes, sir, hello? Uh, I'm gonna need you to come in on Saturday. Well, it's just, I've worked the last two Saturdays in a row, and my mother's and in the hospital- And now I'm asking you to come in on a third Saturday, so what's the problem? There is no problem. I'll come in on Saturday, ready to work. Perfect. Also, I ran out of chocolates today, so if you could pick those up for me, that would be grande. He does know grande means big, right? Be sure to lock up, Jenny. Oh, oh, where is that intern? Yeah, fuck that guy. That's the spirit. Jenny, no, no. My mom is in the hospital, and he doesn't even care. He is a ruthless human being, and he needs to go! Poison him. Poison those chocolates you have to get for him. Where would I get poison? That druggie from downstairs. Dougie? Dougie the druggie? <laughs> Dougie the druggie. What? No, you can't do that. He's not bad. He's just misunderstood. You can't judge a book by its cover. All right, I don't know if you have short-term memory loss, but I definitely ordered a double ristretto non-fat organic chocolate fudge brownie Al Pacino. Uh, that's the actor from The Godfather. Your mother is the actor from The Godfather. I, oh my God, God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, of course. You know what, what's your, what's your name? Anna. It's a stupid name. Oh, oh, you're gonna cry? Why are you crying? You spilled coffee on my double leather boots that are worth more than your life. I'm the victim here. This works.
Sorry. Oh, no, no, don't worry about it. It's a five-second rule, right? <laughs> yeah, seriously, don't worry about it. Hey, thanks. Sir. Have a nice day. Do that again, do that again, and this time, knock and wait for me to let you in. The door's open. Get out. <sighs> oh, hello. Come in. Hey, Mr. MacArthur. Hey. I have those chocolates you asked for. Perfect. Just set them down right there. <clears throat> there you go. Oh, whoa, 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 Jenny. Um... <laughs> Yes? There's no seal on this box. Oh, there's no seal? No, Jenny, there's no seal. This box has been opened. Okay. I confess, I'm a creature of habit, and the moment I bought the box, I just opened it, and, uh, I'm so sorry. I wasn't I thinking. I don't know why you didn't just buy another one, but I... Uh, Jenny, did, did you eat a piece, too? Uh... No, I understand. You're probably PMSing. Why don't you have another piece? No, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. No, Thank no, you. I insist. Have another piece. I mean, you had no problem taking a piece before. Mr. MacArthur. Please. Take a chocolate. 